Beach with Dad by Gina and Mercer Mayer. Little Critter is copyright by Gina and Mercer Mayer. And this book is published by Inchworm Press, an imprint of GT Publishing Corporation. Dad said, Today we're going to the beach. Let's get ready. Okay, Dad. I thought we were going to go play baseball. I ran upstairs and got my Captain Bunny snorkel kit, my Snurfle the Sea Monster inner tube, my sailboat, my speedboat, and five power critters. It seems like we've lost the brand deals we had before. Who the heck has ever heard of a Snurfle? My little sister only took her little Miss Prissy inner tube. Wow, how'd you fit in there? We must be going to a pizza place after, because Dad's bringing the Pepto-Bismol, and my dog is bringing a duck foot. I ran out to the car to put everything inside. My frog got smashed in the window. Then I heard Dad yell out the window. He's standing outside. What, did he make a window with his hands? Only take one thing. Oh, okay. That includes you too, Dad. Sorry, little sister. Dad can only take one thing. Looks like only I'm going. I had to take everything back to my room, except my Captain Bunny snorkel kit. You can't have any real fun anymore. They don't make parents like they used to. I threw my boat at my dad. I don't think he liked that. But dad took our pail and shovel and put it in the trunk. That made me feel better. He also let the cat out of its imprisonment in the trunk. But then the dog ate the cat. I didn't even know we had a cat. Mom packed a picnic lunch and sent us on our way. As we drove, she kicked the back of the car. You'll be sorry you didn't come. I called from the car, but I don't have a cell phone, so I just yelled it. No, I won't. Mom called back. I wondered what she meant. Dad, why the heck is little sister sitting in the front seat? That's so irresponsible. Dad. Dad. Dad, wipe the milk off your upper lip. When we got to the beach, it seemed like all the Transformers went to the beach as well, because all these cars were stuck on the sand. Hey, Dad, do you know what the good guys are called in Transformers? Uh, no. They're called Autobots. Ugh. <laughs> <sighs> it seemed that everybody else had the same idea. Ugh, look at all these old people walking to the beach. All you're gonna do is sit under an umbrella. If any old man takes his shirt off, it's gonna look like a pile of spoiled milk on the beach. We had to park way far away and carry everything out to the sand. Dad, why are there so many old people at the beach? The sand was hot and it burned our toes. Dad had to carry my little sister and me. But he didn't mind because he is strong. And everyone was staring at us. Jeez, mind your own business. Haven't you ever seen a king before? Take a picture, it'll last longer. Eyes on your book, cow. If you guys don't stop staring at me, I'm going to hit you with my candy cane. Dad found us a real good spot right by the waves. I waved back, but I thought it was too close. Uh, Dad, I think the tide is rising. Oh, uh, just sit back and relax, son. Dad, no, I think there's a really big wave coming. There was a big boat over there, and it made big waves, and now it's coming straight for us. <laughs> we all got wet, but I didn't mind because you're supposed to get wet when you're at the beach. Hooray! What are you guys crying about? It's just water. It's like the earth licked us and gave us a big wet kiss with its tongue. That's what waves are, just a big wet kiss from the earth. We found a pretty nice spot out by the sidewalk. Yeah, real nice spot right by the trash can. When I go to the beach, I want to smell the sea salt, not somebody's old sandwich. Jeez, it smells like Oscar the Grouch's bathroom over here. It was right next to the gloopy snow cone stand. Who the heck wants gloopy snow cones? I want my snow cone frozen. Just take the snow cone. We all got a snow cone. It was great. But I dropped mine into the picnic basket. Whoops. It was an accident. It made the sandwiches taste better. But no one else thought so. Dad sat on a nice beach chair. My little sister and I sat on towels. 
after watching him, I think towels are better. Bull! Jeez, Dad, I think you can afford to lose some weight. The legs are gone. Who the heck took the legs off my chair? I did. Why the heck did you do that? I wanted to eat my sandwich with chopsticks and pretend I was eating sushi. What the heck is wrong with you? Little sister wanted to catch a seagull for a pet, so she threw some crumbs of bread to one. Dad didn't think that was a good idea. We all found out why. Because that seagull told his friend, and that friend told two friends, and those two friends told two friends, and all of a sudden the whole family of seagulls was here. Hooray! They have been summoned. I am your new master, seagulls. Take me to your leader. Then we ran down to the water to take a swim. I thought it was kind of weird that no one was in the water. You know what else is weird? This guy's recording my whole conversation. What is this guy an amazing story? Is that how he knows all of these stories? This is how he gets all the footage. He follows me around. But Dad said, Great! And jumped in. Wow, Dad, now I know why you're wearing a t-shirt the whole time. Look how white you are. I guess he didn't see the sign that said, No swimming today. Jellyfish. Yeah, don't worry, Dad. There won't be any jellyfish in there. Apparently, the jellyfish didn't listen to the sign. There's no swimming today, jellyfish. You're supposed to be out of the water. He only got stung a little. Dads are so brave. They never cry. Oh, oh, someone pee on me. So brave. We built the best sandcastle I ever saw. And I did it with this popsicle. But it was in the way of the sand patrol jeep. Dad took a picture anyway. Look, Dad, I made a castle for all of my friends. <laughs> They're all living inside it now. All of my alive friends. <laughs> I can't wait to turn around and see all of my friends having fun in my sandcastle that I built just for them. <laughs> I can't wait to grow old with all of my friends and talk about how cool this sandcastle was. <laughs> my dad forgot to take a picture of his breakfast for Instagram. So he decided to eat the camera so he could take a picture of his breakfast. Then Dad said, I have a great idea. Follow me. Oh, okay, Dad. Thank goodness Dad picked up the head of one of my friends that got ran over by the Jeep. So he could come home with us. Hey, Goofy, is it your day off today? Disney didn't have any work for you to do? You know, going to the beach can be a lot of fun. But sometimes, a waiting pool in the backyard is even better. Dad is so smart. Right, Dad? He only had to do 20 stupid things to finally do something smart. He's a real inspiration to us kids. And look, he even made himself a smoothie with the jellyfish that was clung onto his butt cheeks. And he made one for Mom. What a great dad. And this happens every time we go to the beach with Dad. We sit by the trash can, get attacked by a gang of seagulls, get stung by jellyfish, build sand castles, and all of my friends get run over by a jeep. I still don't know why mom never wants to go. What do you guys do at the beach? Hmm? Bet it's not as fun as our time. Okay, gotta go. We're gonna go to the beach again.